a, a somebody who is a Joe Six Pack down to earth hockey mod, mom to become vice yes, president. Mom. To come vice president of no, the no, United no. States of America. Um, who, who said that? that, that was, I'm not, I'm not voting no, no, for no. Anyone. I know. I'm just asking you that. It do, doesn't that say a lot for for all the people who are voting on that basis? That you 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 you're crazy. This the, the world is in peril. Why would you want a hockey mom to be um have that kind of power and have the nuclear launch codes when the world is in peril? Are you are you, are you out of your mind? Your mind? You you should want somebody who's like the most qualified, intelligent advanced thinking human being diplomat di- diplomat but then this the- woman didn't have a passport as of 2005 man she hadn't even left the country what do you mean, what do you mean by, by passport forward she had never traveled out of america she oh. got her passport but listen how long have you had a passport her first passport was gotten in 2006 2005 what how the hell are you going to run for public office of that level when you when you don't even have a passport You've not even seen the world. You don't even know what yeah. the hell's out there. Come on. Listen, man. I Come mean, on. You did, no, no. You, okay. did you even know that fact? No, 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 no. I didn't know. Thank you. You didn't even know that fact. These are all these are the facts. You didn't even know that. I mean, they're all the things that they've been talked about a lot about. When you're asking, like, okay, what's your, yeah, what's your foreign policy, for foreign whatever knowledge? And, oh, I can see Russia from Alaska. Like, that's what? I mean... It's oh, mind yeah, on, on boggling. Something, I mean, well, quickly on his side and very quickly. Speak. Putin is, is is crazy, by the way. Putin is crazy and he does judo. He's and he's good. A, 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 judo, a judo DVD. No, he, has, he has a judo DVD. He, he, he yeah. released a new one. Um, guys, he's in the DVD talk back as interview. Vladimir Putin, a, a full-on former president who is basically still president. No, but, he's, no he's a yes. prime minister okay. who still controls. Okay, he still controls the country. A, a full, full-on world leader fights judo and he's good. He beats people up. He's good. He's actually good at it. And he has a DVD out yeah. with Putin in it. And also, basically, and, and also, he saved two scientists from a, a tiger as well. The what? He saved two like science, two people from like a tiger that was attacking, and he saved them from it by sh- shooting it. Okay. And then the forest. So basically, the fact that Putin is a full time hero, so okay. he's like a, so you have you have to serve him. Basically. Yes, and this king. this Putin is the guy that um Americans, all of you guys over in America, are going to vote Sarah Palin to sit in a room to talk to. That's what I'm saying. People aren't thinking straight. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying that listen, this is your 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 listen, listen. Have hope. This is your children's lives, your lives. No, no, wait, hold no, on. No, pause, happens, pause. I'm going to wait, hold on. Fine. This is your children's lives, okay? Even if you don't care about your life and you're, you're so filled with hatred and racism and like, I cannot have a black guy in the White House. I cannot have a, a whatever Hussein in the... Whatever it may be. Will you, are you comfortable for the sake of your kids to have a McCain and someone like Sarah Palin lead the country at a time like this? It's ridiculous. That's what... I don't even understand it. I'm like, sh- people are, I've, listen, I've listened to a lot of guys who are saying, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared of Obama, I'm scared of Obama. And then you ask them, why are you scared of Obama? And they start giving you all these points that have been raised by the McCain camp and they are all lies. All of them are lies. And then I say, where did you get this information from? And they start saying, and then they realize that, oh, they're actually all lies. And then you, once you've disputed everything as lies and you say, are you still afraid of Obama? Yes, I am. Why? I don't know anything about him. He's just, you know. Um, and then you push a bit, a bit further. Oh, I'm scared of everybody. None of them are good. Do you know why that, that is? People can't actually, a lot of people can't even bring themselves to just accept Obama is a good candidate. They can't. So at, at the worst, if push comes to shove, they're all bad. It's ridiculous. And as I'm looking, I'm like, fully educated people, look at a guy that this guy has never shown any aggression has never shown any violent tendencies whatsoever, has never shown any irrational behavior in any of the debates. He's always cool, calm, collected, diplomacy, let's talk, let's understand each other, let's... Look at how he even handles hecklers and everything in his, in his um, rallies and so on and so forth. Isn't that the kind of guy that you want in a room with Putin and with um, Kim Jong-il and all these sorts of guys? <laughs> That's what you want. Because things that... Listen, I don't know who can talk to listen, Putin about. Listen, no. Putin, that guy is mad. People like this... You do not fight fire with fire with guys who are crazy. You don't do it. Because they, are, they actually do not care about losing people. Americans do. 
Look at how Americans have reacted over the lo loss of life in Iraq. Do you know that how many thousand troops have been lost in Iraq compared to the hundreds of thousands of people, Iraqis, who've been killed? And look at the effect on uh, the American public of that. American loss of life hits them hard. So for you, you can't go up against Putin or Kim Jong-il or those sorts of guys who these people are like completely create. Like these guys could do anything. They literally could do anything. And they're just going to go in there and say, oh, if you shoot, we shoot. We're coming in with our tanks. And okay, Putin's like, coming with our tanks. Will you come in? Okay, we, we can write off maybe a few hundred thousand people. You're going to lose about 20,000 people. See how the American public will handle losing 20,000 civilians. That will destroy America. America losing 10,000 people with it. Look at what happened with the two towers losing 3,000 people. Look at what it's caused. 3,000? Countries lose 3,000 in two days of normal life. Not even like a big event like that. Just, just regular scenarios. So, I mean, people are not thinking. I'm like, guys, situation is real serious, guys. This is not a game. This is not a game of like, oh, I can't have this kind of person there or this, that, this is not a game. Oh, it would be so good to just have a homely mother, hockey mom in the White House to represent. No, 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 no. Guys, this is not what this, this is the real deal here, guys. Real deal. People voting on that nonsense, it's, it's the real deal. You want more war? Why? War for what? Okay, man. No, I mean, look, man. I've preached, and I'm preaching because, listen, I was a guy that, you know, I was actually for Hillary Clinton. I, did I tell you that? I was actually for Hillary Clinton when it was Clinton v. Obama. And I was for Hillary Clinton because I believe Hillary Clinton had more experience. And mm -hmm. I just felt that, that um, you know, Obama is like, listen, I'm black. He's a black guy. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm automatically supposed to support him. I'm like, no, the fact of the matter is that, look, Hillary Clinton has been around the block. Her policies that she tried to do with healthcare and everything were proven to be good things that fell by the wayside because of opposition and so on and so forth. This lady has been around. I just feel more safe in the fact that, you know what, for the world, for the world moving forward, she would have been the best candidate. Then, you know, whatever happened, Obama then won the, the um, candidacy. And then you look at the situation and you're like, look, man, I mean, out of Obama, McCain. That's how I, I felt. But the point I'm trying to make is that I am not biased for Obama. No way. I'm not just here preaching like oh, Obama, no, no. Obama. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. I think no. About for, for it me, is like, about being realistic. And I think for me, like when, when I mean, like when I, I I look at it now, I think yeah, I mean, you know, Hillary Clinton as thing because you know you just know that she would have done things. No, she hundred percent. She would have done. No, I still still think Hillary Clinton would have been the best choice. Mm. I think Hillary Clinton lost because of the legacy of Bill Clinton and the fact that Obama is really radical. It's like this is a black man. You know what I mean? And that's because of the way that um, a lot of Democrats and Americans think. It's like, you know what? Things are so bad now. We want the absolute extreme change. Somebody who is like, because Hillary Clinton is still like old blood. You know what I mean? Mm. She's still from the old. Obama is fresh. Fresh, fresh, fresh. And I think that gave him that little bit of an edge, you know, over her. So, I mean, which is fair enough. But the thing is that guys need to really just sit down and think about things. Because I'm like, I'm looking at some of these rallies. There's real hatred. Like I saw some interviews of people after the McCain rallies and people talking and talking about, he's a terrorist. It's in his lineage. It's in his blood. You know, I'm afraid of him. He's dangerous. Obama? What? The kinds of things guys are saying, you're like, what is going on? Do you know what the thing is? Like you're saying, it's scary. You, you, you watch those rallies and you can feel the anger. People screaming all this stuff out. And you're like, wow, man. I'm worried. Do you know what I'm worried about? Let me predict something. 